Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about producing stacked bar charts, clustered bar charts, and mosaic plots using R. These plots are appropriate for examining the relationship between two categorical variables. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will graphically examine the relationship between gender and smoking. We can produce bar charts using the bar plot command. To access the help menu, type help and the name of the command you would like help for, or simply throw a question mark in front of the command name. We will need to produce a contingency table to make the plot. We can produce this table using the table command within R. Here we would like a table for the variable smoke and gender. Let's save this table in an object called table1 for use later. Now let's produce the bar plot using this table. You'll notice that R's default is to produce stacked bar charts. We can change these to clustered bar charts by using the beside argument and setting this equal to true. It should be noted that one may wish to express this plot in terms of conditional probabilities. For example, one may wish to express this plot using the probability of smoking given one is female and the probability of not smoking given one is female. This can be achieved by manipulating the values in table 1 to be expressed as conditional probabilities. Next, one may wish to add a legend to the plot. This can be accomplished using the legend.text argument. Setting this equal to true will produce a default legend using the names stored in the object table 1. This command may also be used to provide a vector of labels which you wish to appear there rather than the default names. For example, non-smoker and smoker. One may add a title using the main argument. As well as label the x-axis or y-axis using the xlab or ylab arguments. I like to rotate the values on the y-axis by setting the LAS argument equal to 1. One may also change the color of the bars by using the COL argument. Here we'll make one of the bars red and the other blue. A mosaic plot is one more option for examining the relationship between two categorical variables. This plot can be produced by using the mosaic plot command and providing the table. As before, we may add titles, X and Y labels, and change the colors using the same arguments as before. To learn more about customizing these plots, explore the help menu. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.